my name is Richard. I'm a music producer and songwriter. And I'm the inventor of Solid Sound. And like two years ago, I was sitting in the recording studio and was thinking, why all these uh, audio enhancements just, you know, try to get this wow effect? I mean, these days, everyone tried to get the wow effect. But it's not about the wow effect. If you're talking about audio, it's much more about uh, three very important criteria, and that's volume level, audio devices, and uh, our personal hearing ability. So, why? Um, the human ear is just not able to listen to all frequencies on lower levels. So, the more you reduce the volume level, as you can see, the more the bass frequencies in the top end will be affected. Uh, audio devices like headphones or speakers, uh, for example, I mean, 600 million people are using the Apple headphone, which sounds crappy and haven't got bass, got resonance frequencies. And last but not least, uh, our personal hearing ability is also affected, for example, by our age. So just make a little short test. Uh, please keep up your hand um, if you can hear anything. <laughs> All right, sorry for this painful noise, but you know, the, the fact is, you know, younger people can hear that much earlier and older people just, you know, got different uh, ears. So that's the kind of hearing ability uh, what I'm talking about. So what is Solid Sound actually doing? We um, got a complex algorithm which is um, programmed, which fix all these problems just in a logical way. It's not, you know, putting more bass or, I don't know, stuff like that. It just um, compensates all these individual problems and we got a patent on that and it's never done before. So maybe you want to have a, a short ex uh, example how it sounds like. <laughs> So, but how we want to go into the market, we actually want to start with a B2C um, case. And we want to start with Bukeshade, uh, Oli Banjo and Udo Lindenberg. So, we will have this artist edition for our app. Uh, obviously, it makes sense because, you know, music and sound just belongs together. And so, it's, it's the artist edition, for example, from Udo Lindenberg, who need more top end. Obviously, he's old. <laughs> and uh, we got the hip hop. Obviously, they want to uh, expect a bit more bass. Uh, what have we achieved so far? So we got a patent pending status, we got a prototype on iOS, and we got uh, proof of concept given by all these companies you, you can see now. But actually, um, our goal is the B2B case, because everything where sound comes out, solid sound could be integrated, because these issues you know, will happen like um, with Apple and all the things, you know, uh, all these companies you could see now that could be potential strategic partners. So uh, we got an experienced team, so Arne couldn't make today, so he's a smart business guy. We got our uh, Stefan, he's a real specialist for audio coding, which sounds really warm and great. And we got Torsten Siefert, so he's a lawyer in the music biz and is really well connected international wise. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, let's go first to uh, Paul. So for me, like, I'm not sure if this is just a standalone company or if you like license this to Dolby or something. Like, I don't know your space that well. So like, I don't know where this goes, right? I, I just, it's just some really cool like algorithms you guys figured out and you license it out to all those people or do you actually yeah, build a whole company out of this or you sell it to yeah. somebody? I'm not sure. So. That's the best I could say. My, my other, qu well, I have a question though. Is like, are you guys just doing like crazy FFTs on this, or like, is this all math based, or how are you guys making this magic happen? You can, uh, you can ask. The first question: uh, Where we want to go? So yeah, last year we went to Apple, quite naive, you know, without a patent, and we had a chance to get a read on a high top, and they said, "Wow, that's an innovative pr product. Sounds really great." But you're the first guys here in my office without a patent. So we went back, made a patent. And so the first step, obviously, is our app, which will come out in two months from now. It's nearly done, the whole programming, and it's coming up with these artists. And so they got more than two and a half million fan base, 
And that's actually how we start, because we don't need money for marketing. Yeah. And uh, Paul, sing again, please. Well, I, I, um, well, great job for first time or first time pitch, anyway. Um, I, I'm really concerned about the the distribution. So the notion of introducing yet another app uh, worries me a lot. So, for example, in the U.S., I just use Spotify, or if I'm in India, I just use Ghana or. Uh, SoundCloud or whatever I want to use, but like the, you're, you're, what you're actually proposing is that there's yet another app, I think. Is that what you're proposing? There's yet another app that I would use, but it doesn't have all of the artists. It only has some artists on it. Is that what it is? So, yes or no? I get you right. uh, we start with the app, and obviously parallel, we, we, we do yeah. all the other things, like, you know, we have talking to Telecom, and they got these electronic beats. We have talking to Spotify. So you can integrate it. It means our app can play all your music, and then it's also got a special place like for Spotify. So it's a streaming thing. It's a different kind of business then. I understand. Yeah, so I'm, I'm with Paul in the sense that uh, I don't know this space very well. The only thing I would really encourage you to do is really think about how you can um, get around the gatekeepers in this industry. Um, I don't like the app approach, but I also don't know what your alternative is because going top down at Apple and all these other places is a risky bet as well. But Thanks, Paul. Peter, right. tell, tell us, you must be an expert in this space. Uh -huh. Well, I, I, I don't know. Actually, uh, we've Peter's already talked to each yeah. other, so... Uh, I, wow. and, and, and therefore, I know that it's really a great team with extremely experienced people, so they really know what, what they do. But uh, I've got more or less the same uh, uh, issue as, as you just raised, so I, uh, I'm afraid it's, it will be very hard to really uh, get it to the market, and, and not the, the B2C uh, option, but how to turn it into a... a, a a potentially much larger B2B product. There are so many gate, uh, gatekeepers, and if you are not able to, uh, and I hope you, you are able, but if you're not able to, to really uh, uh, access them and, and, and sell your product to them, it, uh, uh, yeah, it, uh, it, won't, it will be difficult, I'm, I'm afraid. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, just solid sound. And uh, thank you for being thank patient you. with us.